Cheers, dear. Cheers. It's Monday. It's feeling like a Monday here. A little bit for us. We just traveled this weekend. Got to see your family. That was kind of nice. Yep. Get all the cousins together. Anyway. Today we're talking about <laughs> Retro 51. We have some new exciting things. Double, double announcement of sorts. Yes. First. <laughs> I thought you were going to keep like, going. Come on. Um, first, the fountain pen line is finally here. Now, they've had a fountain pen line before, but this is the redesigned line we've been waiting for yep. with the Yovo number no. 6 nib, which is a better writing experience, and a different grip section, which is just more comfortable. The problem with the, the old ones before is your, your fingers would just slide down to the nib. Yeah, it was more tapered. This, yeah. yeah. So this is uh, more ergonomically pleasing. I would say so. Yeah. If you're familiar with our Montana pen that we had a few months ago, it's the same grip and nib that we had on there. That's what you can expect on their fountain pens moving forward. So there are six colors of the new and improved fountain pen line available. Um, you have the P51 Mustang. So these, uh, the first three are based after existing rollerballs. Mm -hmm. um, you have the Lincoln <coughs> Copper. And it has an antique copper finish as well like Penny. Um, you have the Stealth, which is all black, although the nib is silver. And then you have three new colors. You have Aquamarine, Orchid, and Ultraviolet. So mm. these are like a matte metallic finish. Yeah, they got a little bit of, just a little bit of shimmer to them. Oh yeah, really but, the, but they're but they're more of a flat finish. Yeah. So these, um, are the three newer colors and mm -hmm. to go with them is the second announcement we have matching roller balls Woo! now the roller balls are going to be exclusive to us oh, and you can't see because my hand is like covering up. the whole thing yeah <laughs> i can see it beautifully there you go. here yeah look at these nice pens um yeah so the roller balls are going to be exclusive to us these are going to be 3350 and they come with the same you know gel roller ball refill you've seen in all of the other retro pens uh and then the fountain pen versions are going to be which nib sizes? Extra fine, extra fine, fine, fine. medium, and 1.1. 1 .1. There you go. Um, these are going to be. I'm pulling up my notes because I can't remember. Um, Fifty-two dollars. These are fifty-three sixty, and the this is sixty-three twenty. There you go. So you're looking in the the mid, yeah, the fifty to sixty dollar range for the fountain pens and mm -hmm. around 33 for the roller balls. Absolutely. Now the regular edition pens, the Lincoln, the Stealth, uh, the Aquamarine and all that, they come in basically whatever random tube that Retro might come in. That's how they do their regular, regularly offered pens. Oh, we forgot to mention they come with a cartridge and a converter. Oh, there let me go. show you what the grip section Standard looks like since we're talking about that. Yeah, I was going to say, we can do a little comparison to the old and new. Um, the, red, the P51 comes in a tube that is special to it, that has a picture of the P51 Mustang plane on it. Uh, and then our roller balls, we did our own sleeve to it, which matches the pens well, pretty nicely, I think. For the, ro the roller balls. For the roller balls. So the fountain pen will come in any random tube, <laughs> but the roller balls will come in these sweet, sweet tubes. Yes. So what else is there to say about these? Um, I mean, if you're familiar with Yovo nibs, which is, you know, our nibs, Edison, um, you know, like the Converter Twisbees with scared. number sixes, it's going to write very similar to those. The flow is going to be similar. The writing feel is going to be nice. Uh, very good writing experience. Um, the Yovo nib is relatively new to retro. And, you know, they're un they're unprinted. Yeah, they're unbranded um, for now. Yeah. Um, they're still waiting on the branded ones. It was just taking a really long time, but mm -hmm. in the interest of getting these pens out of yeah. market. Yovo is like unbranded. the cool kid on the block, so everybody's trying to jump on over to them. Yep. And, uh, you know, so they're a little backed up. So they were able to get unbranded ones on the pens uh, moving forward. It's tough with brands when they're trying to, like, change entire nibs because, you know, companies need a lot of nibs. And when there's a backlog, it can be difficult to get. So they're going unbranded for now. I'm sure at some point in the future they will switch over to branded ones. So this will be like a little point in time kind of thing. You'd be like, I remember when Retro just switched over to Yovo and didn't have branded nibs. As far as how these feel, these are very smooth to the touch. I know sometimes when you have a matte finish, hmm. sometimes there's a texture. These are very smooth. Um, they feel like they, they feel like they should be, you know, shiny. They're not like hmm. glossy, sticky. No, they're definitely they're not They're really glossy. smooth. This one has a little bit more texture to it. Um, I don't even know how to describe it. It just feels... Does this one feel like a Lamy? This feels more like a Lamy Studio, I think. 
No, I find a lot of like studios. Like the studios? No. Maybe. Hmm. It's, Somewhere it's like between there's like there. little, um, yeah, you can kind of feel the, it feels a little more raw. Fair enough. And this is, like this, this is pretty smooth as well. Yeah. And then the P51 Mustang, the reason it's more expensive is because it's acid etched. So it's, it's got, got like a texture. very three dimensional feel. So if you're familiar with like the Buzz rollerball pen or, um, you know, any of those kind of three dimensional feeling ones, it's going to have a texture like that. So like the rivets have like an imprint on them and the vents you know that would be on the plane like you can feel those it's mm -hmm. very textured so if you like that textured feel you're gonna love the feel of this one so, so there you go. that's it these will be here later this week um this is the official announcement of sorts that's and right. we're just waiting on the shipment to arrive now Woo! so what do you mean like later today or this week this week okay yeah. so go ahead and sign up for the email notification list now that you know about them yeah, we did order what I hope to be a decent quantity, but again, we have no idea how these are going to do. So if you're very interested in them, go ahead and knock on them. But well, they are going to be pretty regularly offered. The the fountain pens are regular edition. We mm -hmm. didn't cover this. These, yeah. yeah, these are limited out of 300. Mm -hmm. And are they numbered? They're not numbered. They're not numbered. Okay. Yep, because if they do really well, we can just keep them going. But That's true. Yeah. We'll see how they do. Lot. We'll see how they do. 300 is a pretty decent number. So each. You don't need to like drop everything and go get these things right away, but if you are interested, we'll have them available in a few days. There you go. There you go. Hope you have a wonderful Monday. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks and right, right on. on.